Welcome to Cancer November 2021 reading. Now this is just a general, but if you like a full reading, head over to the description below. Hello Cancer, how are you? So Cancer, I'm doing your November 2021 reading. And you know the major themes for you, Cancer, is the fifth house, which is about play, fun, romance, your children fertility creativity having fun so some of you cancers may be really really passionate this month you know some of you who are single or you know could be looking for someone new or if you are in a relationship if things become more playful during the scorpion season and i feel a lot of you are very much on a huge roll especially when we have the new moon in your fifth house this is this is about you know really a time that a lot of you're going to get very much more creative and so you should and I feel a lot of you may feel a little bit more lighter as well the other major theme that's going to be happening for you is that you have the lunar eclipse in Taurus which is in your 11th house so this is I'm going to be doing full videos on the Scorpion new moon and the lunar eclipse in um, Taurus so remember to watch those videos but you know the major you know lunar eclipses are about letting go so some of you could decide to like let go of like a group or association that you are in um wanting like new friends to come in as well and also you know anything that's to do with you know your financial concerns financial restraints when it comes to the groups or friendships you would want to look at more deeply to let go and yeah those are the two major themes for you to really like look at and we also have mars which is in your fifth house this is giving you a lot of energy a lot of drive to pursue your like creative goals some of you may even be thinking about you know children at this month whether it's your own children or thinking about starting a family so a lot of fun can happen during that time but also some of you may be very much you know very you know obsessed with your children as well obsessed with your creativity obsessed with a partner so all these it's quite intense but all these major themes are the major themes for you cancer when we look at your card especially like for the the first card that we have the major theme is release so there's a lot of releasing going on for you cancers you know releasing things that no longer serve you and it's also very telling because you know we are in scorpio season and scorpion season is about releasing old attachments because the scorpio card is the death card so a lot of you cancers you know you want something lighter but in order for you to have anything lighter you have to release so a lot of shadow work is going to be going on and you know a lot of you i feel are going to be peeling like this old layer probably opening up more um you know having a bit more fun as well so when you have a bit more fun you feel lighter, you open up more. So you're releasing an old side of yourself. That's the major theme for you this month. When we come to your cards, the first card you have is the... Oops, sorry. Sorry about this, Cancer. Um, the first card you have, especially for the first week, is the Seven of Cups. Now, this is about choices. So choices within, you know, I feel a lot of you are going to be having lots of choices, lots of opportunities can be coming to a lot of you this week, the first week of November. And there's a lot of excitement in the year. So even if when you look at the cards, it's like all this jewellery and, you know, all this jewellery, all these like nice things. So and it, it seems a bit like a Venus card, very much like a Venus card. So things are very beautiful, things that all these opportunities that you've been wishing for can be coming now. But it's about being mindful as well, because sometimes opportunities, they can seem too good to be true. So it's about looking at it, looking at something deeper, because the Scorpion month is a psychic month as well. 
even though you know you do benefit so anything that comes even if it seems too good to be true it's best to do like your research very important to do your research as well some of you who are seeking like a new partner you could be getting lots of people coming towards you some could be from the past as well this card is also guiding you cancer for the first week to you know really go within seek some you know spiritual um like talk to like your spiritual guides or you know seeking spiritual that can actually help you when things actually come and i also feel some of you could actually be hearing something from the past as well so it could be like a, if you're looking for a job a job could come if you were looking for you know an an old partner could come old friendships can come as well but this is giving you lots of opportunity to see if you actually need it okay so it's very exciting the first week the second week we have the five of cups which is reversed so this is about you know looking back on like past issues past sorrows grief and because it's reversed you know and also i feel this is mainly for like the new moon which is in scorpio which is about you know something coming in but some of you are probably are feeling quite reluctant to let things go because you know you like it you enjoy it you're a creature of comfort you know you're a creature of habit but also i feel some of you are feeling that if you don't let this if you don't let it go then you know, you are missing out or, you know, if he has, he has that energy of like you're missing out and, you know, if you let it go, what have I got left? So there's a big reluctance during the second week. And, you know, th th I feel that there's going to be like this sort of light that's going to be coming to you. And it's also, if it, it's, it's like a light coming to you, but it's also a, it, it, it could be your intuition it also could be your like a guided spirit somehow which is actually helping you and it may take you a while to release okay when we come to like the third week you have the two of swords which is about you know being blinded to situations that are presented in front of you so it feels like the third week it's an emotional time very much an emotional time and and it's probably the reason why it's emotional because we have the lunar eclipse in Scorpio and um, the lunar eclipse in Taurus, which is in your eleventh house. So again, they might they they, they feel that this it, it's not like a reluctance. It's more so that you know you're taking your time, weighing up pros and cons, seeing what needs to be gone from your life and seeing what you need to keep also you know the two of swords is about being blinded to outside forces and also could be blinded towards your inner self so listen to what's being said within and also if people are talking see what's behind what they say if any of you are in business or you know if you own your own company we really, really relook at the contracts as well because there could be something missing. There could also be something that's not being said, you know. Um, it could also be, you know, you are being, people could be charging you more, okay. And maybe because you like the person or the people or the company, you may go along with it. But you lose that in the long run. So the third week is a very emotional, um, but it, it will take you a while. It, it could take some of you a while to you know go to that next level we just you just have to see what's going on beneath it all when we come to the third with the fourth week which is we're moving into sagittarius fourth week is you know the hermit card which is about you going into yourself you know answers within your spiritual guide some of you could be searching for something new now some of you i feel some of you are going to go a bit very much more quiet you know, because the whole of September, even though it's um, November, even though it's very pleasing, it's still like it, there can be some emotional ups and downs. But during the last week, going into Sagittarius season, you know, it's in your sixth house, which is about your daily routines, your work life, your health and fitness. 
and also this you know the hermit card is a virgo card which does rule you know all those fiends so i feel a lot of you are going to be really working on yourself working on you know getting fitter okay seeking answers whether it's from someone um i feel preferably maybe through yourself you know i feel that a lot of you are finding answers within yourself um some of you i feel could be reading much more as well during sagittarius season um could be reading up on like a like a job reading books reading on like something you can do to improve your health but mo mostly the answers are within you you know it feels like very much an investigative time during the end of the month and it ends more quiet and i feel some of you may not really mind that as well okay so that was your mini daily mini daily your mini november reading cancer i hope you enjoyed this reading please don't forget to like share and subscribe and also check out empath butterflies for general and love reading so cancers i hope you have a lovely november and i'll speak to you very soon take care bye <music>